I believe that in the, I'm checking under I'm, I'm speaking under Balash's uh, supervision here, but I believe that in the um, in the documents that were sent by the commissioner by the former commissioner um, in his application, there was information related to this NGO and in particular how it was financed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, correct? Yes. So um, fundamentally, we did the work of verifying the nature and the financing of this organization in the context of the checks done by the ethics um, um, body. Okay? It's a slightly different issue um, to say this organization needs to register in the transparency register in order for it to have a meeting um, with us. That's the difference that there is. You may think that it's, it should have been, it should have gone differently, but that's the logic of it. We did, we went through due process, um, in terms of verifying, um, uh, this organization, um, at the time of the application of Commissioner Avambopoulos. So we had the information which was required in order to grant him, uh, these, um, this authorization with restriction. And indeed, one of the restrictions was that he should not contact his former colleagues in the, in the commission. So in a way, it sort of makes sense, um, that one, um, that this did not lead us to check whether the transparency register would be filled. Of course, if other members of this organization had contacts with the commission, then they would have had to register.